Hello everybody, I'm Eva Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa in my RTR. We get those headlights turned on. We get some underglow down there too. But we are on the Camus 15DD here and we're gonna be doing a full drift here at mid Ohio, but we're gonna be going full send with the Camus. So we're gonna get the wheel on, we're gonna go full send and get our first impressions on the drift feeling of this canvas wheel so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all which found in the description box below let's get to it so we are on mid ohio which is a pretty big track so we're gonna go full send with this and we are in the rtr that i've been working with here recently ourselves into a chicane so overall initial feeling is this thing rotates super fast and is very smooth this is basically just with no real tuning at all on the wheel settings the wheel settings are basically just set kind of factory with no inertia no natural inertia or anything like that I believe we are at about 60% power and about 60% effect gain on the canvas settings. Pop that in the third. And we're just shredding this course right now. Quick downshift in the third to get through there. The wheel definitely feels very incredible, and I thought it was gonna be a little bit weird getting used to. Oh, that was a really long 30 e brake grab. Thought it was gonna be take a minute to get used to, but it, out of the box, feels quite nice, and this RTR is definitely uh, quite happy on this course right now. Change it up views a little bit. Gonna make sure we run as many different views as we can. I can definitely feel when the front tires start to slip on this car. We were really far out there. Last lap, we're gonna try Manji the straight. Oh, in the grass, in the grass. It does feel quite nice in that Manji, and I'm actually very impressed, like I said, with how this is feeling off the rip without any real tuning in the canvas app. lock up there though but this RTR is just getting down once again a big thank you to Camus for sending this out to me give me the chance to uh, do this on this DD wheel definitely very big of feedback feel different from the other DDs I was rocking being you know obviously 15 new meters instead of my nine if this actually feels quite nice. I don't think there's much tuning that needs to be done. It's uh, quite comfortable with this RTR for sure. Oh, we're in dirt. As I say that, we go into the dirt. Let me see if we can't get a full fast entry on this. Let's see if we can't drift this whole lap without a. Uh, Without stopping. I was like, we can run this whole lab without touching handbrake, but we need to do a little bit there. Got 
kind of running out of gear. We got this. I think we may actually be able to drift this whole course. Almost in the grass, but we got it. The power and angle that this car has is incredible. So far, we have not stopped drifting yet. Little sideways. I think we're going to be able to complete this entire lap with, in one continuous drift. I'm actually thoroughly impressed with the fact that we just did that. So overall, this Camus is definitely feeling very amazing uh, out of the box initially. So I think we're going to go change up tracks and try a comp track because you know we're going to have to try the track we've been testing with our other wheel but throw it down in with the canvas so let's change up track real quick so i decided to throw an audible and go to a different track other than daytona another track that i know and love esda hampton downs so we're going to run this and see how it does in a competition aspect i was having to you know find clips and stuff like that not just a flowing track full shakedown of the canvas in initial drifting in a comp car and then we're going to take a look at some street cars and some other episodes so once again a big thank you for camus for sending this out to me let's see what we can do maybe a little bit too much left foot brake to that first section but A little bit off in that section but we managed to bring it back out overall not too shabby of a run i remember running this in esda and i don't think i was as smooth as i just was so let's give it one more final go and then we'll take a look at the replays for this So, definitely having a lot of fun. The canvas out of the box actually is feeling quite nice for drifting. The 15 newton meters throwing it back and forth. Definitely not an issue at all. Like I said, we're only at about 60. So, we're going to be bumping it up power wise here in later episodes. But I actually can't get over how uh, smooth this actually is right now. The wheel itself, you know, getting that little numb feeling on my hands because I don't have gloves on, which I should. lot less left for break there flicking it inside bringing it in on that clip and finishing it off the run nice and smooth through there this is actually extremely smooth I don't think I've driven this course that smooth ever before I don't think we get a replay camera, so we're going to have to look at this in box cam because I don't have the replay cameras turned on on this. We're just going to go full height and take a look where we actually were in relation to the track. So once again, a big thank you to Camus for sending this out. Ooh, nice and deep in that zone. So... <laughs> You know, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll in the description box below. Definitely having a lot of fun. A lot of more stuff with the canvas coming up on settings and street cars and stuff like that. The 15 new meters feels very nice. And uh, I thought it was going to be kind of like notchy when rotation, but it's actually really smooth. And it's kind of uh, surreal how smooth it can be being at how high of force feedback it is. 
So one final look at the final run. So like I said, all the information will be down in the description box below. Big thank you to Camus for sending this out to me. Ooh, nice and agile, you know. Would have punted that clip, but ZRTR is definitely getting it now. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.